Well, folks, we got another doozy at our hands. After this video, my ESG score is gonna plummet because gamers are being called toxic, genders are being changed left and right, race is being swapped, Bruh. and that's not even the best part. This video is gonna contain everything that you can think of. Like the video so my ESG score doesn't plummet, and like the video if you believe there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are more than 5,000 genders. Bruh. And with this one, guys, we're gonna get right into it. Wait for the climax, guys. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. The stuff that we got up in here, bro. Uh, we got Romeo and Julian as well, or I mean, like, Juliet, my bad. We're gonna dive into everything. Roll it. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here. So today we're gonna go over some more drama happening in the gaming industry because yeah, there's some it. more woke nonsense being pushed on the gamers who could have saw that one coming well yeah. there's definitely a very noticeable pattern especially among western game developers where they are making what seems Damn. like intentionally unattractive yeah booba equal minus 1000 esg uh jawline looking like brock lesnar plus 100 esg damn even brock lesnar wishes he had a jawline that's female guys. video game character designs as opposed to eastern studios that are making these more conventionally attractive looking characters and it seems especially odd when these western studios are taking characters that are supposed to be representative of real life actors and they seem like they're downgrading their appearance in their video game form and that's yeah, something may maybe they don't have technology maybe that's what it is maybe maybe technology maybe technology is not that advanced enough maybe that's what it is that Call happens with it? the upcoming release of star wars outlaws this is a game that's coming out in august and we've been getting some more previews including a preview yeah. of the main character for this upcoming game now a lot of people are taking screenshots of this character and yeah. making fun of it on twitter and i have to say guys i'm very on, confused man. with the outrage on this one no seriously i mean what what's wrong with this character it's a very handsome man What's that? Bruh. Correction, ladies and gentlemen, this is a woman. Now, all jokes aside here, okay? Here's why a lot of people are oh, upset man. with this this design and also are making fun of it because this is based on a real life. They gave her like 20 pounds of testosterone, guys. Like, come on, why y'all suck is doing that crap, bro? Like, this is this is absolutely disrespectful to the actual actress because the actress kind of looked good, though. You feel what I'm saying? And it's- Like, actress. Here she is. Damn. I mean, she looks okay on a second though. She looks better than just good though. Shoddy kind of, shoddy kind of bad though. We have this versus this. Yeah, holy. How crap, does bro. that happen unless these developers are intentionally doing this? Here is a side by side comparison. Oh it my seems God. very, very intentional at oh this point. God. And things seem even more offensive when you have downgrades like this versus yeah. the male counterparts in the same game looking like this. Whoa! You might recognize uh, Cameron Monaghan from the Shameless series. Look at the camera. Yeah, like, seconds be like, okay, they don't have the technology, bro. They, they, they just don't have the technology to make an accurate uh, actor or actress uh, face in the game. You are wrong. wrong. Look at this, bro. You're you're telling me that these seconds can get this right, but you're telling me that they cannot get a female character right? I mean, come on, bro. Get mama, bro. Character that's based on his appearance. They look very similar. It makes yeah. absolutely no sense why there's such a difference in how the male characters are made versus the female characters. And if you compare them versus Damn. Eastern Studios Damn, that are making uh, various characters based on real life human beings, you can see the big difference between them over here versus over here. There's something very, very intentional about all this, and it's very strange to say the least. Now, of course, a lot of people are looking uh -oh. at the prices of this yeah. upcoming Star Wars Outlaws, and they're- It's like, this is like the entire package, right? This is all done for ESG. <laughs> plus one yeah, million, go, 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 plus go, go. one million ESG score for Ubisoft, and minus two billion ESG score for everybody that's gonna like this video. <laughs> because look at that! $130 and 130 US dollars for Ultimate Edition. They also are gonna have microtransactions, or I mean to say mega transactions transactions season passes race is probably gonna be swapped in the game we haven't seen that so I'll, I'll give them that maybe they're not gonna race swap but so far genders are being changed right gender roles are being changed strong independent we got strong independent queens happening bundles yeah this is the entire package i mean after all i guess we're talking ubisoft so they're saying it's sense. ridiculous that those are the character designs we're getting for a game that some of the bundles are up to 130 dollars i crap. understand these are bundles but we're going way beyond triple a pricing we're getting into like quadruple a pricing yeah. at this rate and a lot of people are saying this price is not worth the quality of the character designs that quadruple. people are getting there should be no excuse for this kind of stuff 
And if you look, a lot of people are quoting some of these promotional tweets and saying some very important things the about manager. the community manager behind yeah. this game. So here's one post. Yeah, the community manager was caught with their pants down, uh, basically being racist towards white male gamers. There was a whole lot of heterophobia as well. These suckers always want to play like phobic phobic, so... I mean, the community manager was very heterophobic, let me tell you that. Saying, the community Went manager explicitly locker. stated they hate white male gamers, so Ubisoft should rectify that or my wallet's closed. Also, it's a Ubisoft game, guys. It'll be half off or more in a month after it releases anyways. So what exactly are individuals like this talking about? Well, they're referring to Shauna yeah. Jones, who is the community manager for this Star Wars game. Yeah. Now, a community manager, she, her, I, and FJ, views are 100 person mind. We know. We know. <laughs> we know all the views were yours. We get it. You don't like men. You're first of all white. And you hate white people, like, what, 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 like, yeah, 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 I don't know, man, like, uh, did somebody break your heart, sweetie? Like, did that happen? Is that why you hate white men? I I'm just trying to understand, as a brown man, though I'm brown, actually. Bruh. No, I I'm not even joking, bro. Like, I'm Pakistani, which is considered brown. I'm from a brown origin, so I am brown. I'm a hundred percent big, beautiful ass, big ass man uh, with a brown skin. Bruh. So, yeah, that's uh, who I am. Now, why are people very, very upset with her? Well, you can see views are 100% mine. Well, what are those views? Well, it's a lot of anti-white, anti-male, and yeah. anti-gamer sentiment. Gamers. Basically, if you combine those things into... Uh, gamer. Wait, Frankenstein-like supervillain, white male gamers basically ruined her life. Uh, basically, she wakes up in the morning, stubs her toe. It's the fault of white male gamers. Let's see yep. some of the tweets in this collage here. Uh -oh. If you name search white, just like on any other community manager or developer in the Western uh, video game industry, you're going to find a million results if you type in white or male or gamer. And you can see some of these tweets. Holy uh, crap. I know bro. the industry itself is maturing, but the gamers, man, gamers. they need to sort themselves out. Gamers. Ooh, that looks painful, you cracker. Be safe. Damn. No more middle-aged white men. Like, even the camps are full of white people. This is probably because you're a white male. I was put off by the, the, the main character you play as being a white male. Celebrating diversity, really? All the hosts are white men. Let's see some more down here. Oh boy, yeah. white privileged. Yeah, she also called out Ninja. Bas Ninja basically said that parents should parent their kids citing that it is not his job to teach kids about racism and white privilege absolutely bro ninja basically said what a sane person would say right like yeah it's your kid you you have to parent your kid and she had a problem with it she was like e -e -e, ninja is boasting about his white privilege by doing this i mean damn homie you're a community manager bruh like these community managers ruining these gaming companies reputation now obviously ubisoft don't have a reputation first of Bruh. all so it's like yeah i understand in that aspect that yeah she can ruin a little bit more like well, who cares right but like for other gaming studios that have reputation why hire why hire these racist community managers that don't like gamers first of all these things don't even like gamers bro like what the hell is happening gamer boys ruin online games yeah yeah please don't tell me gender isn't an issue in the games industry when you are a white male if you're a white dude complaining about diversity being raised as an issue then people are going to keep raising the lack of diversity until you see change yes there is a lot here okay for someone who has a very public presence people are going to yeah. find these tweets eventually and it does not look good you are intentionally blocking off people and after this uh, she went into her bunker right for you're not welcome the... here whether you're white you're a male or really if you're just a gamer yeah these community gamer. managers for these projects are showing their open disdain for you and if you have any self-respect if you fall into these categories why would you support a title like this that yeah. hosts a community manager like this who hates you like this is like a complete package right like 130 dollars overpriced garbage right a season pass bundles they're trying to nickel and dime their customers with three-day early access with pre-order as well they hit male gamers okay all of us heterophobia is real white people uh they hate white people i'm not white but i'm i'm like damn homie like what the hell is going on bro like first of all these things like, say gamers are racist bro we don't even care though like i play with everyone that's cool you know what i'm saying we gamers we play good games with Folks that are cool, that's it. And, but these things are dividing everybody. They hate you, and they're making it very clear on social media. Well, she would go private for a couple of days, but she has returned despite staying private, and she made this tweet saying, I'm back and I've decided I'm not going anywhere. Go the folk attacking me and using me to push their agenda are not going to win this one. Yeah. Well, 
you're not going anywhere just like the copies of Star Wars that'll be on the shelves on August won't be going anywhere either because nobody's gonna be buying this game you can already <laughs> smell the, the apparently they, Ubisoft says that get comfortable with the uh, with like uh, quadruple a games or season passes or some bull squash like that I'm correct me if I'm wrong they said something like that like gamers need to get comfortable I'm just saying okay whatever they said we gamers we're gonna get comfortable real quick by not buying your games though first of all you can see the, the, the writing on the wall here you know this is gonna be a big flop however don't worry the gaming outlets like Kotaku gaming. got their back. They made yeah. this article today saying, Evergreen from last year, Star Wars Outlaws Backlash proves we need more women protagonists. Now, of yes. course, that's with a little Queen. asterisk at the end of that because when Kotaku... Listen, we do not deny, though. Like, we, we feel like that there needs to be strong uh, female characters. But come on now, bro. Like, not this strong, bro. bro. Like, this is way too strong, bro. Like, this is strong to the point where this is actually a man, bro. This is a biological man. And, and I mean, listen, okay? We want strong, but we also don't want this strong, though. I mean, come on, dog. Like, this is this is way too... Way, I, I feel like that she's gonna beat a big show for from WWE. Bro, Big Show is not gonna be able to walk after that, bruh. Like, holy crap, what are we talking here? Says, bro? we need more women protagonists. They mean only a specific type of woman protagonist. And of yeah. course, you can see some of the replies saying, this isn't a video game guide. Don't make me call your boss. Guys, come on. Of course, that's a reference to the fact that Kotaku's managers told their writers to make more game guides and less political charged type articles, which of course caused several, or at least one senior editor to resign. Here's another comment saying, no baby, no, we need a kick-ass game that isn't scared of featuring an attractive female protagonist. Laura Croft was a great female lead, and most people had no issues with her. Yeah. It's the characters with political, political agendas agenda, that yeah. are pissing people off. And Dog, like, gamers love Laura Croft. I'm a big fan. I've done, like, countless amount of research papers. Uh, obviously, I'm joking around, but but you get the idea, right? Like, but we love it. We love the, 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 the female lead characters in games. We, we just hate the fact that when you you like us do this crap, push agendas down people, gamers throw But moving forward, of course, they're talking about more female leads. Okay, yeah. how about Stellar Blade, Kotaku? Are you going to promote Stellar Blade? No, of course oh, not. In fact, not. the only yeah. time we've seen game journalists talking about Stellar Blade is when they're claiming that their character design of the main protagonist, Eve, is bland and a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Now, curiously, not that long ago yesterday, in fact, the Stellar Blade team released a photo of yeah. their developer team, and you can Bro, see uh, no. a very significant female presence. We already kind of knew this, but it's really <laughs> funny seeing it in action here with all the women on the team. Of course, people who are upset about this kind of stuff, I mean, what are they going to say, right? They're going to say that they're uh, brainwashed by the patriarchy or yeah. something, or they're traitors yeah. to their own gender <laughs> or something like that by making this yeah. character design of Eve. But anyways, moving forward, we're seeing a lot of people Holy complaining man. about these posts, pointing out the... Very the, the the disrespectful to the actress is absolutely insane here, bro. Like, look at that. Sh they really butcher the character. Like, like they they gave her twenty tons of uh, testosterone right there, bro. Big change up between these designs right here, based on this real life actress, where this individual says, "Oh my God, you people are <laughs> effing insufferable." We can see the reply saying, "Nobody is saying make not every wrong, protagonist though. like Stellar Blade, but at least." Make, make them, them look, look like, like the actress. actress go out of yeah. your way to downgrade is kind of weird, which is yeah. definitely a very fair comment. It is weird to intentionally downgrade these character designs. He's not it's wrong, It's just though. odd. It seems insulting to the person you're basing it on. Yeah. Because no one's saying yeah. he's not wrong, and then I know devs ruining beautiful women is insufferable. Absolutely. But moving forward, here's another post saying, what happened to you, Ubisoft? With this uh, comparison of characters from 2014 to 2024, where someone quoted that saying, in quotes, themselves, why don't they make video games I can f*** to anymore? Bruh. There is a... What the hell? Like, bruh. Yo, hey, yo, cut the cap, bro. That's... Whenever, like, these suckers think that suckers want, like, attractive female characters to do that crap to. What the actual hell is wrong with these folks? We just want women looking like women. And in this case, like, the, 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 the game character looking like the actual actress. What's so hard about that? I mean, they got, they certainly have the technology. I mean, like, uh, this thing is going to be charging you like a hundred and thirty US dollars. And keep in mind, keep in mind, that's hundred and thirty USD. Not factoring in the taxes, not factoring in the currency exchange rate, because I'm in Canada, right? And I know Canada is like the woke island here. Like, I, I do apologize on their behalf, and Ubisoft is also in, in, in Canada. Bruh. So uh, they have a branch here in the, 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 the Montreal here, and I'm in Montreal, guys. Go figure. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to zoom in, but okay, take my word for it. 
it's 177 with taxes it's easily gonna be 200 canadian bro this is absurd absolutely absurd 70 usd with taxes here in quebec is gonna be a hundred dollars easy what the hell is going on in gaming bro what what is going on? and on top like they they, they want to actually indoctrinate uh, all of us right and they want to push all of this woke crap as well I, I don't know man like very weird projection among a lot of twitter users who are upset about people complaining about character designs they always say stuff like oh this is now if it if it's a more attractive character yeah, design like, you know, why aren't you you know you only want characters Bruh. you can to while playing it's very strange the fact that these people don't know the difference between either attractive video game character designs or fan service versus hardcore graphy and yeah. the fact that they're thinking about these sorts of things when they're trying to criticize people Crazy, is very strange. And like I said, projection on their behalf. You can never reason with a person that is this far gone. We have another game to talk about. Another beloved IP getting crapped all over, and that is Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth. This should have stayed in the shadows, if I'm being honest. So, what happened here? <laughs> Let's see this tweet. A oh uh, British adventurer God, Laura Croft bro. will transition nah. from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. My God, ladies and gentlemen, colonial past, as users have pointed out, the game had dinosaurs in it. And you're talking about a colonial past? Bruh. It's a video game. Can we please just play something without this garbage? Well, let's read their statement that they made on their official website. So, oh, Tomb Raider series to escape its colonial past. Raiding as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft acknowledge her past, her past mistakes, mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She has okay. also worked to reform raider culture. Raider culture, that's what, very that? important to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Raider what's culture that? is prevalent Okay, what's that? throughout all society. We definitely have to address that. And raise the awareness of her peers. Laura is no longer, uh, no longer decorates her mantle with mystic artifacts. As a okay. raider, she prioritizes seeking the truth. Oh, wow. uh, much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe mm, that all wow. three aspects are an important component in creating wow. a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect in work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. In this game, we seek to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect, of respect. and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just play a video game? <laughs> can I just play a video game where you're, you're a Tomb Raider just taking cool artifacts in a, in a fictional setting? Can we please just, no. just do that without this absolute garbage I, I mean like they don't want to do that right because like uh, then it's a uh, minus 1 million social credits or i should say esg score for them they, they're chasing the esg they want more esg virtue but... signaling that's not going to help anyone not going to change anyone's minds in fact if anyone yeah. needs this sort of a lesson to be shoved in their face they're probably beyond saving to begin with this is absolutely crazy by their own standards by the way oh indiana jones God. would be like a super villain okay it's very very strange that they're trying to do this but let's move on. As Kirsha would point out here in this tweet, she would do some digging and find some of the people responsible for this upcoming release. Now you can see she highlighted here some of the consultants, consultants on this release. And you can see an individual named Sahoni. Well, let's check out Josh Sahoni's Hidi? account here. Oh boy, Sahoni the Red Wolf with a furry profile picture in background. Interesting. So Sahoni the Jabroni would have a lot to say. And they, they announced publicly that under an NDA, they're allowed to say that they are working on this Tomb Raider game. And that they oh, are very man. excited about this. This team has been dedicated, professional, kind, open to conversation and feedback. And I think most material, at least for me, created a work environment that is both comfortable and fun for folks with experience with colonialism the world over. They also paid me. Big plus there. Ah, awesome. So you not only get to virtue signal, but you're getting paid to virtue signal to an un, uh, unwanting audience. Okay, let's see what else they've uh, said. Holy well, here's some crap. blue sky tweets. Anyone yeah, another franchise, guys. Another franchise. Bite the bullet. It's Joe over, man. Where is Biden? Where is Biden? Somebody wake up, Biden. Yo, Biden, you gotta do something, bro. Biden needs to do something. This is insane, bro. 
They're about to ruin another franchise, dog. I'm on Blue Sky, I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. That's like the biggest cope platform. It's supposed to be like the Twitter killer, and literally people go there when they're afraid of getting canceled or criticized on Twitter, so they go here in their little echo chamber, but they say this. Note, I use anti-colonial versus decolonial because the tenets of decolonialism require concrete action and actually push against the ideas of symbolic and hollow gestures. Wow, My game so is a game. Brave. I can talk about racism in academia, colonialism, and the value of intangible culture, but, but that, that ain't, ain't work. work. Yeah. I can introduce ideas and ask people to stop, consider, yeah. and listen. But that ain't the work. That ain't At the most, work. it's a discussion. It's and a that discussion. has value by a measure. But uh. it ain't the work. It's not, it's not concrete. Done. Very brave. brave. Stunning brave. and brave stuff. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> okay, I was not expecting him to say the same. Okay, well, uh, well, shoot. Another tweet from only brave. about yeah, a month ago saying, brave. Reminder that if you followed me for game design or politics, I'm a furry that loves sucking D. And I'm going to post hot pet play adjacent art of my secondary fursona that I got for my birthday. With appropriate filters, by the way, but it's coming and you should be prepared. Can we have one developer that's like halfway normal? Like, yeah, is that like... too much to ask for at this point? Can we get a developer that isn't hating the customers that they're supposed to be making the games for or is a complete- uh, It's impossible. It is really impossible. Okay, like seriously, what? The heck is happening in gaming, gaming right now? Am I, cra am I the crazy one here? We didn't have this crap. Like, uh, even five, okay, five years ago we had, but it didn't felt this way. It didn't felt like that we had this crap. You feel what I'm saying? And now it's like every game, every franchise is being done dirty right, like, like that. Who cares? Bro, this is the, I don't want to know. Okay, you love sucking Johnson's, uh, BBC's, BWC's, or LBC's, or LWC, okay? <laughs> Cannot leave anything behind, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? Bruh. I don't want to be disrespectful. I, okay, yeah, you love sucking Johnsons. Bro, okay, who cares? Who cares? Go suck your Johnsons uh, all day, every day, bro. F all, F all I care about, right? I don't care about that. I just want, like, good games. That's it. You're making games? Make the games as good as possible. That's it. Your audience don't need to know whether you suck BBCs or BWCs or LWCs or LBCs. Again, guys, no disrespect to the LBCs or LWCs either, right? So Unhinged psycho. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't care if this is tweets made by someone or Blue Sky, whatever post they call it. Uh, you know, an average user. But, like, this is a game developer who is saying all these things tied into the amount of importance they find their own work to be and their own political views Crazy. to be in the process Crazy. of being a consultant for this game. It just shows. Yeah, it's important to get a consultant who identifies as a fury that loves sucking Johnsons out there. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah. This is how games are gonna be made 10 times better. Yeah, absolutely. That these are the kind of people that are going to be lecturing you on what is normal or acceptable. And it's, it's a joke. We all know it's a joke. And this is apparently not anything new for Evil Hat Productions, by the way. They have been doing this kind of stuff for a while, as pointed out by this tweet right here. So you can see, for one of their uh, Cthulhu RPG from a couple years ago, uh -huh. they of course had to sample the works of uh, Howard Phillips Lovecraft, who they say oh, is a racist man. and anti-Semite. And they say all these things about how terrible he is and how basically you shouldn't be looking up to him and his stories yeah. have like this, this dark element to them because of who he was as a person. And yet, they base an entire IP on his work because they're too lazy and they're too unimaginative to come up with their own story. So despite the fact they want to- Gaming is really getting crazier by the day. And if you think this is the only thing, guys, well, check out this video on the screen. Recently, Xbox went fully woke. On the left, though, don't worry, Xbox. We also have PlayStation going fully woke as well. Check out both of these videos, guys, and I'll see you right there.